Ashley Kalora. And I'm Socrates Bolas. And we're here to bring you our first ever virtual pep rally. Woo! And now for your show band, Charvelettes and Madrets. Woo! This is your Chartier's Valley show band. Woo! Now it's time for our football team. Let's go! I'm here with Anthony Clora, captain of the boys' varsity football team. What were your thoughts on this past season? Uh, the boys had a really good season, and it's the first time TV had a winning record in a while. Felt, be, felt really good to be a part of that team and lead them every Friday. I'm here with starting linebacker, running back Sam Pochi. With the newfound success of the team, what do you think the future for the Colts holds? You know, I think this team did a great job laying a good foundation for future programs. Um, and we have a lot of talent in the underclassmen, junior, sophomores. I'd like to shout out Lamont Payne, who's a very talented sophomore, Abe Ibe, who has a great, great future in football. And yeah, I'd say that's the future of his program. I'm here with Jordan Demas, captain of the football team. So with you guys having the best record since 2009, what was the reason for this success? I mean, the reason is that uh, we bought in since uh, Coach Canals first got here and we always kept believing, even though we were had losing seasons. But this year, the seniors stepped up and said, we're going to make the playoffs this year. And that's what we did. Time for some cross country. 
I'm here with lead runner of the Chartres Valley Girls Cross Country Team, Kate Pippolo, who just placed 11th at the Whitbeal Meet. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. First one being, how was your season? Um, it was really good. It was the best season we've ever had. We were all very I close. Agree. Yes. Um, we won a lot of meets. We worked really hard. Yes. No regrets. What was your favorite part of the whole season? My favorite part was probably us winning the Mingo Classic meet because oh, we had no idea that we won we until did. Coach Pro told us and it was a very nice surprise. Yes. So last question, what are you going to miss the most? Um, definitely just like the bond, yeah. you know, my best friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Kaden Crump, lead runner of the boys Churches Valley Cross Country team. I'm going to ask you a few questions, all right? Okay. So, um, how was your season overall? Like, uh, it was really good, especially compared to last year. I I really improved like my times good. and getting faster in the last. Good. Episode. So, what was your favorite part? I think my favorite part is how close the team got and like how everyone is like really nice and accepting of each other and how we always hang out and do fun stuff together. Yeah. So, last question: How was your season affected by COVID? I think my season was affected by COVID because it like shortened the amount of people that can like be like qualified for like the state meet. But other than that, not really a lot. Like I still had like a really good season all around. Good, thank you. You're welcome. girls and boys soccer team. We're going to be interviewing Morgan Montani and Brooke Kelly. 2021 girls soccer captain. What is your reflection on the girls soccer season this year? Um, although the season didn't end the way we wanted it to, uh, it definitely was a lot of fun and uh, it was all worth it. Yeah. What is your favorite memory from this year? My favorite memory is probably the bus rides home with the girls and everyone singing Spending time with everyone this season. Nick Kembo, captain on the boys' soccer team. We're going to ask him a few questions. So, Trey, what are your overall thoughts on this year's soccer season? Uh, I think we could have reached better heights, but, you know, we, could, we took what we were able to take. And uh, hopefully next season without Riley and I and all the other captains, we're able to strive farther. I'm here with uh, one of the captains of the boys' varsity soccer team, Riley Kuchba. I'm going to ask him a couple questions. Riley, with you graduating this upcoming year, uh, who's someone to look out for next year? Uh, definitely one person I'd say is probably Mike Akembo. Uh, he's a great little player. Uh, I love the kid, especially because he plays in my position, striker. Uh, he's going to be a sophomore, so he's still fairly young. Um, so I'm not expecting like 25 goals out of him, but for the future, he's definitely going to be great. So, yeah. Thank you for your time, Riley. Thank you. the golf team. How'd the golf season go? It went okay. We learned a lot. We grew a lot also as a team. We also got some new players out there, which is pretty cool to see the sport grow in mm -hmm. school. Yeah. How do you th are you excited for next year? Yeah, I'm definitely. There's a lot of new potential for next year. All right, cool. with senior Yulia Davida of the girls tennis team. We're we'll asking her a couple questions. So Yulia, what was your favorite part about tennis this year? The new uniforms. With the uh, new tennis court renovations, what are your thoughts about them? I really like them. They're better than last year. Well, throughout your four years of tennis, what's your favorite part about tennis? Getting out of school early for the matches.
ball. I'm here with Paige Cowley from the varsity volleyball team, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about the season. How was your season? It was really good. It was definitely a learning adjustment from last year, considering our coaches changed and our whole lineup changed from last year. What is your favorite memory? My favorite memory from this season was definitely having our best game against South Fayette at their home court. Hi, I'm Nia Gimateo. I'm a senior this year and I play volleyball. What are you going to miss the most from high school volleyball? Um, I'm probably going to miss messing around with my coaches and hanging out with my team every day. this fall season. Here are some of the standings from the fall seasons. This season, the football team made it to playoffs for the first time in a while and they won a lot of games, so good job to them. Congratulations, Morgan Montani from the girls soccer team who made all web field in all section. The volleyball team made playoffs too and some of their players made all section teams. Congratulations to the girls cross country for placing third in web fields. Congratulations to the boys cross country team for placing overall 16th in the Whitby meet. Also, congratulations to the people on the golf, tennis, and soccer team this year for all their hard work and dedication to their sport. And that's a wrap on our first ever virtual pep rally. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you enjoyed. Go, Go Colts! Colts!